Welcome to a quick demo after the March 14th Beehive call. Happy Pi Day. Uh, Andrew, Jan, and I just had an informal chat, and together we did some experimentation. And what you see on screen is a Thunder X machine that Rebecca Cran kindly gave me. And it doesn't say much about the Cavium CPU, but it has 32 gigs of RAM, and specifically it has a GIC version 3 or newer. So I have this repo to share with you. I'll just echo it. That is a uh, Mark J repo, and that has some Beehive ARM components. Olivier kindly gave me some binaries of that prior to my knowing about the repo, and that allowed me to set up a few things. So let's see. Let's see how to name these 14. So this is a FreeBSD 14 image. The release, and I believe it's root on ZFS. Yes, it's root on ZFS. And I've created a simple bridge and tap configuration for networking. Give that a moment. It's making a DHCP request. Let's see. The default images do not have a password set. You can see the version there. And if config with sun.com. It is online. Now, it is very important to do a proper power off and to use the beehive dash D flag because at this point there is no beehive control to clean up a VM. So let's take a look at dev VMM once that finishes. Dev such VMM. There is nothing. You can remove devices there, but it doesn't perform an actual cleanup. So if I were to rerun it and not have dash D and not do a proper shutdown, it would complain that the resources are not available. So let's see, this is a 15 snapshot from, I believe last week. And let's see if release engineering is making CFS images. I probably would have used that if they're out there. So root and uh, out. It's simply the UFS image, but that's okay. And you can see the U name at the top there. And it is a standard machine. Again, shut down dash P. Now, the clean shutdown is important. And things got interesting on the call as we were just messing around. So let's try Alpine. This is Alpine Linux, and so far on every image I've tried, there are, I believe, housekeeping issues on the proper layout of things. So this one kicks into single user mode with this error, but it's a working system. So the fundamentals are good. It's a whopping, what, two gigs total? Um, there a time trial on this? I don't think they have a time trial. Maybe they do. Let's see. There's about six seconds on a free BSD machine. I can check on the post when that finishes. Show. Maybe it's not a thing. If I can cancel that, no. And that's okay because this also doesn't have a working power off command or shutdown command. So I will do a, on another console, pkill beehive, just brutally. So let's take a look if the cleanup is not correct. So devs, devs VMM, we have the Alpine VM remnants there. So if you try to launch again, that doesn't happen. And normally one would run beehive control, but which it doesn't exist yet. So finally, let's see. 
arm hive. This is a Debian no cloud image. It has a beautiful grub screen welcoming you. And we get a kernel mostly booted. And then we have trouble with the, I believe, root file system. We'll get about 12 lines of the scripts on local block. Get 15 to 20. And then boom, we hit in a sh in it RAM FS shell, but it's not quite a shell. It is, uh, it is, yeah, not quite a running system. And the reboot is almost instantaneous. Not that it's truly rebooting. And if I were to run it again without the cleanup, we get the same error. However, that is the basics of. Actually, they're really short. Um, arm hive 14. This is my invocation syntax. You must specify a memory allocation. Without it, it complains. I've gone up to 16 gigabytes, no problem. It will only support a single vCPU. And uh, you do need the dash D and a correct shutdown. You need a host bridge. It will boot to the very first uh, device. And actually a caveat on the binaries built presumably from that tree. Uh, nope, you boot. You um, boot dash bin from, there, from the package uh, is hard coded to it. So I had to have slash root slash you boot slash bin. You, there is an option for the future to have dash o and firmware and have a proper path but that is not yet supported so package info i think you boot that is the package and it gives a proper this is terrible on this machine it gives you a proper firmware i just copied it into the root directory and it worked with the binaries from that repo so echo in the history That's the repo. I had to download it rather than check it out. It did not like a git clone copy, git clone. Oh, no, not found. So uh, your mileage may vary, but there is everything I know to date about Beehive on ARM64. And I've put my notes in the standard Beehive call doc. So. Echo like and thank you for watching this and I wish you a great remainder of your day.